Welcome everybody, my name is Misty Slash Ganesia and this is the brand new office. I hope you like it because it's there to stay. If you don't know about this kind of video, this is the Guess the Anime. It's a show where I get on Twitter, at Kranixia, a bunch of submission. You guys give me anime gifts that I try to tell you which show they're from. And then I talk a little bit about each and then we do about 50 or so of those. Uh, I was supposed to do this one back in uh, Valentine's Day. Things happen. I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm catching up and uh, I have a second one that's currently going so I hopefully will be able to do one this week and one next week as well. It's gonna be my mea culpa, I'm sorry, uh, trying to catch up and give back to you son of bitches that are always so supportive of these type of videos. But before we get into the actual show, Akibento, if you're familiar with it, subscription box! They give you anime goodness, and la la la, you want to get one, it's on the description down below. I don't know what the theme is, we're gonna fix it, it's right there. That's the theme for this week. Heh. <laughs> fairy tale! You guys love fairy tale. I would have much rather have Lucy, because uh, she, she's the coolest character of fairy tale. And you can fight me about it, because uh, she's got the keys and everything, and I think she's, she's the coolest one. Uh, but yeah, Akimento, if you want to do a switch, send me a Lucy, and I'm gonna be happy about it. <laughs> Terrible pun, moving on! What the fuck is that? Well, I mean, it is from One Piece. Oh, they're magnets! You know what? You never have too many of these. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put it on my fridge, and uh, just gonna be using it to, uh, to put Misty's drawing on it. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna be fabulous. You'll see once once the baby's there, she's gonna she's gonna be using all those magnets and probably eat about three of them. A tiny Naruto keychain, the Akibento exclusive. Are these chopstick? Because it looked like food stuff. Oh please, let it be something about food wars. I really love food wars more than I should. Oh, it's a scroll! It's a tiny, tiny scroll that you can put on your wall! And it fucking is Food Wars! Oh my god! Another Akibento exclusive. It's jiggly. Um, I don't know what this one is. Maybe it's still my chopstick that I requested. Oh, it is! <laughs> I, was, I was only half kidding about it, but it is totally chopstick. Can you see it? It's a lot of chibi characters. And it has uh, all your all your favorite shonen. And now we're getting the actual thing you guys came to see, which is the guess the anime. Let's roll with this because uh, I have a lot to go through, and hopefully we will get to your personal submission that I'm sure you worked hard to get in for the last seven episodes, but it never gets there because Twitter is a bitch and it has an algorithm that just decides to put whatever they want on it. But hey, that's how we play the game, and hopefully. We get something cool. Uh, the first one, not gonna skip it. The first one is the one I submitted. It is from Fate Khalid, an anime that is all about love and compassion and magical girl. Potentially magical girl. But you'll see. It's really cool though. The first one, um, I will be saying this is from Axel World. Uh, it's a little, it's a little tricky. But because of the round face and the way there's like um, a rosy cheeks like kind of glimmer and plus the black hair girl, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, what about this one? Oh, this is from Yoka. Yoka is an anime uh, really, I want to say underrated, but I don't like using that word much. Uh, it's super beautiful. The story is all about uh, a group of teenagers who, I, if I remember correctly, is about a book club uh, and investigation. If you want to check it out, I don't, I don't really do it justice with my description, but it's super good. Oh, isn't that the girl from uh, Roka no Yusha? I think it's a girl. To be fair, I've only seen like the cover of the show in the first episode. Uh, from what I saw in the first episode, I thought it was super cool. I was planning on watching more of it, then stuff happened and I never got around to. But if I were to, uh, I, I think it's something that I would appreciate. So uh, 
why don't you guys do me a solid, uh, give me a heads up about it? Is it cool? Is it worth my time? Probably. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty on point. All right. Uh, this is one of, this is a show that's not talked about much. I think this is during, uh, that's not the original art style for the show. This is the ending, I think. Is it the opening? One and the other. Uh, this is from Yurikuma Arashi. It's a show about a girl love in the most homosexual way, but not seen as your typical moe cop stuff. Uh, it has a really different outtake about the uh, about the subject. If you can give it a try, uh, this is one I I would recommend. But it's it's a little mind fuckery. Ah yes, yes the. <laughs> Grab the boobs, lift it up, it's gonna lose some weight. Um, this is from a, sh a short show. This is from, what was it called again? Uh, get, get something no tawawa. Uh, I don't know if there's an English translation. Get Yobi no tawa, something like that. And um, it's, it's a very short anime, it's about four minutes per episode. Um, I think it was only an original net anime. It's about the comedy about a, a group of students. It's something that's already been done like countless times before. Uh, would you like it? Yeah, possibly. Ah, uh, yes, a very, a very um, omnipotent classic here. You have, you know, when it comes to 3D anime, it doesn't, it doesn't always get the appreciation it deserves. In this case, this is a show that I consider a must in the anime community. It's called Bob the Builder. If you have never seen it, I would recommend you put your kid in front of it and uh, let him experience the craftiness that is building with Bob. Oh yeah, we were talking about Moe lesbian stuff going on. Uh, this is a prime example of what the, what the community has built and uh, it is the anime Sakura Trick. All about a bunch of girls who move from, I think it was middle school to high school, but they don't want their friendship to end. So they have, they have the genius idea of we're gonna kiss. And it's gonna make her friendship that much better. Which she kind of does. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna say it did not not work. But it's just a pretty weird way to go about the matter. Uh, anyway, moving on. Oh, oh, cool, cool spoiler, bro. Um, well, I mean, it, it's a show that came out in like mid 2000. If you have not seen it at that point, I have recommended it several times. If this is the first time you see my videos, I, I can blame you. Uh, if it's not, then it's on you, truly. But this is from Toradora, a really good romantic anime. Sorry about the spoil, I have no control over it. Oh, ain't she the most adorable little dragon you'll ever see? She is from... Kobayashi Sanchi no... Maid Dragon? I think that's the name. Um, Maid Dragon, that, that's all everyone calls it. Uh, very... Very cute show that came out this spring. No, 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 wait, not spring, this winter. I'm mixing my season, because it's almost spring. But it's not, it's not. And this came out like in winter. Um, if you like your Moe Cup with the good comedy, it's a good, it's a good synergy that just goes just right. Uh, everyone loves the show. And if you have not seen it, or maybe you're just waiting until the, um, the show is done airing so you can just binge watch it, uh, she is the most adorable little girl you will ever see. Yeah, probably. Uh, this is a show we already had. I mentioned it before. I'm not gonna dig too much about it. Uh, this is Outbreak Company. If you want to check it out, it's, it's all right. Uh, yeah. not, not something I would press myself to recommend to people. This, on the other hand, is something I would. Uh, this is uh, Arakawa Under the Bridge. Very original romantic anime. Uh, about just adult for once, not teenager. So um, I, I don't know. It's it's something. It's it's the kind of show that gives you a new perspective in life. Uh, it's about a guy that works full time, and then he meets a girl that's 
a hobo and <laughs> he spends time with her. Uh, yes, here we have Plastic Nissan. It is a comedy, great show. I've talked about it before. Check it out. Uh, very short and uh, worth your time, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. You got her name, Excel. This is from Excel Saga. It's a comedy, one of the funniest thing you will ever see if you enjoy a little bit older anime. I think it's from the early 2000s. Look, I know when I say older, I don't mean like in the 1500s. I mean like 2000. It's more, we're now in 2017. Older means more than 10 years. So yeah, it's there. Uh, this is Sakuraso no Pet Nakanajo. This anime, very good. I wish it would have a, a, a little bit better ending because it left me uh, kind of starving for, for something more finished, more, more detail. But the ride was really enjoyable. So if you like an anime that's going to give you a good time, but can leave you slightly disappointed with the ending, this is one. Uh, if you don't mind about endings all that much, go for it. Despite this very homoerotic caption, uh, this is not a show that's very inclined towards that kind of stuff. It is actually from Golden Times. And uh, it's a really good romantic anime. I would recommend it 10 times to 1. Yeah, very fun show. Check it out if you can. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Squid Girl. Um, it's, it's all right. It's a, it's a good comedy. Uh, not a one I would press myself to recommend, but still uh, on point about a girl that is a, a squid. The, the title is really self-explanatory in this case. Oh, this one I can see myself pressing more for. Uh, this is from Daily Life of High School Boys. It is the favorite anime of Joey and Noble and a lot of people that I know. Um, I'm more on Team Nichijo, and I mean, it, it comes down to personal preference at that point, but it's very good, very good nonetheless. Oh, alright. This is, this is kind of tricky because this is an anime that, first of all, is never really talked about. It, and it's a scene that's not really referencing the art style of the, of the show itself. Uh, this is from Ozuki no Reitatsu. Re Reitatsu. Uh, if, you, if you know a little bit about Dragon Ball, when Goku dies and he goes to that uh, heaven place with the snake thing, you got the uh, the red demon that's at the desk, and it's kind of tells that um, that talks about this kind of mythology. Uh, I don't know much about it, so I can't really explain it all that well, and I probably don't do that well a good job about it but it was a funny comedy about demons and, and stuff like that so uh if it's something you're if you're looking for something that's kind of underground and obscure and not really talked about but despite that being still very good uh, this is one i can recommend yeah this is from shirokuma cafe uh, it's a very weird anime it's i think it's supposed to be a comedy i don't recall it being that funny but I still had a good time watching it. I mean, question mark? I mean, I saw it a while back and there are some shows that I just have a trouble recalling more in detail. Uh, it felt more like a slice of life about zoo animals. It wasn't bad. I don't know, try, try, try a few episodes, see if it's your cup of tea. Ah, yes, this is very, very particular to the show. Uh, main character, those are always easy to tell. Uh, I believe this is Dante from Devil May Cry, the anime they made. The anime is... I mean, it's, it's polarized whether people like it or not. I thought it was it was good. As far as video game adaptation goes, uh, Devil May Cry did a good job. Oh, the exact same gif we got earlier. It's still from Dragon Maid. Ding, Sama, Sensei, San, Chi, Go, I don't know, dra Dragon Maid. This is from School Rumble. And the only reason I recognize the girl is not because she's reminding me of anything, it's because of this dude that's uh, right next to uh, the sweet, sweet bus. Um, that's the main character from School Rumble. 
Otherwise, I probably would have not figured it out. Uh, Poopa, we had it several times. It is an absolute garbage trash anime. Would not recommend 10 out of 1. 100 out of 1. It's, it's, it's a waste of your time. Uh, read the manga instead. Manga did a better job about the story. Anime is just... It's, it's a train wreck in happening. Ooh, this one I like very much. This is Assassination Classroom. It is about a tentacle monster that has to teach children about killing it. Yeah, that's a, that's a good summary. Uh, if you haven't ever seen it, one of the top recommendations. Like, forget anything that I said so far, this should be at the top of your priority for this episode so far. Very good. Hard times have been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.